After explaining the nomenclature of the posh German trio, Mercedes, BMW and Audi, go check those videos if you haven't by the way, it's time to dissect their fourth competitor. But wait, is it Porsche or Porsche? Let's find out. Before we start, let's get this out of the way for a sec. Is it Porsche or Porsche? Well, take it straight from the horse's mouth. Porsche. Porsche. Unlike the other Porsche German manufacturers, Porsche has a much narrower model range. In fact, they only have six main models, which are the 718, the 911, the Panamera, the Taycan, the Macan, and the Cayenne. We will take a closer look on each later. For context, Mercedes has nearly 15 main models in their current lineup. As you may notice, Porsche doesn't use a universal naming system for their cars like what Mercedes uses. However, they use universal name associations to indicate the level of performance or electrification. One of those associations is the letter S, which indicates a slight horsepower upgrade obtained from a tuning on the same engine. This may also mean bigger brakes and stiffer suspension. To indicate that a model drives all four wheels, the number 4 is used. The combination of both aforementioned figures makes the 4S association. What comes after the 4S in terms of performance is the GTS. The turbo name is used for the top performing variants of some models. These get a different engine that is much more powerful and they are extremely fast in acceleration. The models with the GT3 and GT4 badges are the ones influenced by the motorsport racing sector at Porsche. These are engineered from the ground up to be track machines, with the GT3 being the more powerful one of the two. Yet, it is slower than the turbo. It is worth mentioning that the earlier mentioned GTS model doesn't belong to the racing GT sector. So don't be confused. Porsche uses the letter T for their so-called touring models, which emphasize on better corner handling rather than pure performance. Lastly, the phrase e-hybrid is used for their hybrids, Turismo is used for station wagons and simply Coupe for their Coupe models. The standard version of the smallest and cheapest offering is called the 718 Cayman. The car is a mid-engined coupe two-seater that kicks off with a horizontally mounted four-cylinder. The convertible version of the car is called the 718 Boxster. Both versions can be specced with the T, S, GTS and GT4 flavors, where it can produce up to 400 horsepower from a flat six engine, thus accelerating to 100 in 4.5 seconds. The icon of Porsche's exceptional engineering is the 911, and it's the car that whenever it passes by you, you immediately know it's a Porsche. The 911 is a 2 plus 2 seater coupe, which is a bit bigger than the 718, plus 2 meaning 2 extra child seats in the back. The standard version is the 911 Carrera, and it's fitted with a twin turbo V6 mounted at the very back of the car. Unlike the 718, the 911's convertible is called the Cabriolet. One exclusive version to the 911 is the Targa model, which comes in this weird two-piece headliner. The car comes in the normal 4 and S models, 4S, the two GTs, Turbo and Turbo S flavors. And it's the later one that produces 650 horsepower and accelerates to 100 in 2.7 seconds, which makes it one of the fastest accelerating Porsches ever crafted. Next on the list is the biggest saloon offering, the Panamera. This car can occupy up to five proper adults and has much more practical cargo space. The car hasn't left any associations missing about. It basically took it all, except for the Touring T model. The top version of the Panamera can accelerate in as fast as 3.1 seconds.
Wrapping all non-SUV Porsche models, the latest version to be introduced to the fleet is the Taycan. And unsurprisingly, it happens to be an electric car. Now the car can drive all four wheels thanks to the dual electric motors and has S models as well. What's interesting however is that Porsche decided to make a turbo version of the car as well. Despite it being a fully electric car that doesn't have an engine, let alone a proper turbocharger. With that said, never underestimate this one because it also packs a punch. Its 93 kilowatt hour battery outputs 761 horsepower which is good for 2.8 seconds worth of acceleration and up to 484 kilometers of range as per se. Lastly, and quite simply, the remaining two models are SUVs, and one of them is bigger than the other, but with the same number of seats, the Cayenne that is. Both have four-wheel drive, and both get the S, GTS, and the Turbo variants. On top of that, the Cayenne gets a hybrid and a coupe version. Comparing the two top variants, the Cayenne has 240 more worth of horsepower, and 0.7 seconds worth of acceleration. That's thanks to the bigger 4-litre twin-turbo V8 and the 100 kilowatt electric motor. Congrats if you made it this far into the video. You are now a Porsche geek. If you want to master the naming system of the other German manufacturers, I highly recommend you watching the pop-up videos on the screen. If you like the content of this video, a like from you will be appreciated and supported. Leave any comments you have down below and until next time, thanks for watching.